All right, so it's time for us to look at Samsung Q8FN with the same demo that I use called uh, Majestic. Majestic Winter with foxes and wolves. Now, some people say, why is the snow blue? Well, that's because the reflection of the blue sky reflecting onto a white surface. I don't know. Some of you might have to go to school back again and learn that shit. Just kidding, don't get triggered, all right? If you can't take the criticism for saying something stupid, then maybe you shouldn't say something stupid. But let's move on. All right, so guys, with the viewing angles on Samsung Q8FN. For an LCD, this is excellent. But it's not a OLED dominator. It doesn't dominate the OLED in terms of viewing angles. Okay, sure. I can still see that there's some light coming through it. I can still see that the black digital levels are not where they need to be. I've seen people use gamma. Use gamma, move the gamma to minus three to minus four. I said, what are you doing? I said, you're crushing your deep, dark levels. Here, let me show you the example. All right, let's say I want to move my gamma to uh, minus three. There, I move my gamma to minus three, ST2084. I moved it to minus three. This right here, you're crushing your deep dark levels. When you move that gamma to minus three, you're crushing your deep dark levels. You're not getting the detail, detail necessary for you to see it the way it should be seen, okay? Yes, it will look kind of nice, but guess what? You're losing the detail. You, you're losing the detail in the background over here. Moving that gamma to minus three is not going to help. Trust me. So I moved the gamma to uh, balanced. You see, when you move the gamma to balanced, you get a much better, brighter picture. You're not crushing the deep dark levels. Remember, guys, the idea is not to crush your deep dark levels. And I've seen a lot of people try to do this. They would go on their YouTube videos and they would crush their deep dark levels just to show you that, hey, look, uh, the QLED or the Sony or all these other LCD t televisions with the backlit LED that they can achieve the pitch black deep dark levels like the OLED can. You're not doing yourself a favor when you're doing that. You're crushing your deep dark levels. Your content is going to be crushed. Okay? OLED it's got the natural black digital levels because it's emitting by itself. Individually, it's emitting by itself. For example, right here, this is how the picture should look. This is a natural, balanced picture. You see everything there. You see this deer, the reflection on the snow. This is how it should look. This is how it should look. Now, let's move the gamma to minus 3 and let's see how it should not look on the, old, on the uh, LCD LED panel. Trust me, you're crushing your black digital levels. And you're crushing the detail on this deer. You can't see the detail. It looks black. It looks like it's a black uh, deer now. Look at that. It looks crushed. This is not... This is the wrong way. If you're uh, watching somebody's videos and they do this, trust me, you're not doing yourself a favor. You're crushing your black digital levels. This is the natural picture. This is the normal picture. You can see the brown, the brownish color. This is how it should be, guys. You got to see it in its natural form. Otherwise, what's the point then? If you're going to be cheating it and crushing your black digital levels. Guys, um, look. What LCD technology is doing with full array local dimming, it's pretty darn good for an LCD television. Okay, and that's pretty damn amazing what they're able to achieve. But don't tell me that your LCD, LED backlit is going to be able to compete with viewing angles and picture quality and the deep dark levels that the OLED has. They simply cannot. Okay, well there you have it. Right there. Enjoy the video. Very short, 5 minutes, 4K, 60 FPS. Enjoy.